my name's Catherine and this weekend at Wildfire I taught um, getting small humans involved in spinning arts. So it was basically a class teaching uh, you how to bring the spinning arts and circus performing to children. We did a series of small discussions and example games. Um, some of the things that we did as examples, we did veggie stretches, um, focusing on how you can be silly and make mistakes um, and just have a good time with it. We did a couple named games. Names are really important. Remember to do name tags, get background information uh, from whoever you're coordinating this with on the class size, the space, um, special considerations, special needs students. Uh, for name games, we played a game where you say your name and then do a movement and then everyone else in the group echoes the name. Um, we also played you, me, me, you, which is kind of like remember your own name game. So it'll say like Catherine and then you'll say Bobby and then I'll say Bobby and then they'll say Catherine. They'll say my name again. And then you'd go around the whole circle so you actually shake hands with everyone twice. I like to use lots of shaking hands in my classes so that you reinforce those skills. Um, we played a couple warm-up games Again, just to get students more comfortable with being like, it's okay to make mistakes. And we played Sandman. If you wanna look up all the rules to that, it's often called Killer. I like to call it Sandman, but it's the shaking hands game where you scratch on the inside if you're the Sandman. Um, we also played I See, which works really well to get kids moving. And you could say, I see hula hoopers and all the students can pretend like they are hula hoopers or I see trains and everyone can act like a train. Um, you can have them work in groups or in partners to make things. We had a safety discussion talking about how that is your number one priority. And we did Let's see, we did a hula hoop tunnel game where you pass the hula hoop through everyone. Um, not through them, around them. Um, we talked about competition and making it so that the competition is a motivator and not a praise. We talked about stop start protocols. I like to use music. You can also use whistles. You can say a certain word. You could do three, two, one, eyes on me. Um, we talked a lot about having your class and the activities that you choose be driven by your students. And so uh, thinking about if this is going to work with a certain class, it might not work with kids even the same age, depending on their um, age and ability level and maturity level. Um, what else did we do? We did some partner games. Um, we did a find your partner game with the vegetables or whatever you might want to put on your head and then ask a third person, are, you, are we a pair? Um, someone suggested ask, having people ask questions so that people have to guess their own one if you want to do like a famous person or uh, something like that. With our partners, we played scarf tag. So standing on one leg and trying to grab your partner's scarf. Um, we talked about other scarf activities that you could make an entire class out of. Um, how to put your props away safely. And at the very end, we touch base on stations is a great way to utilize a small amount of equipment and a few projects that I've done using technology with my middle schoolers and the end goal we also talked about finding out those school rules so that you could be following them and uh, staying on the same base. If you have any questions please come find me. Uh, thank you. Bye.